the thing that I've learned is that the devices of fiction about the people that, that chase and solve crimes, the devices of, of fiction are a purely literary device. Um, the, the tarnished knight, the fallen angel of the police officer or the private eye that goes out and chase crime, those are, they're wonderful literary devices. They, I, I met Michael Shaban once uh, when he came to Sitka along with the New York Times reporters and, and when he did a little research. His wife is a, is a mystery writer. Um, and uh, he, I asked him why he chose um, the pr a private eye for his, for his, uh, um, uh, his book, um, uh, The Yiddish Policeman's Union. And he said he always wanted to write a private eye novel because the private eye is just a, such a handy device. A crime is such a handy device because you can send a private eye anywhere or a police officer. You can send them anywhere. They can cross, um, they can cross uh, lines of class, of ethnicity, you can send them into, uh, they can be the outsider in a, uh, in within an inside group. They can be the insider in a corrupt group. Um, they can, you can send them anywhere, make them do anything. They're the guy or the woman or the person, they're the person that, you, did, you know, against all reason will go down those steps into the dark, creepy basement. You know, Th I mean, they'll have a reason to do it. You can give them a reason to do it. You know, they'll, they'll go down those steps. Um, and you won't say, oh, why don't go down those steps? But they'll <laughs> go down those steps, and they'll have a reason to do it. The, the private eye is just a great storytelling device for storytellers. Right? The, the character, uh, the reason the, the character evolved in such a recognizable form, the, the fallen angel, the, the drunkard who... Um, has a problem with authority, the, often the man who is flawed, hates his boss, I'm too old for this, and uh, think of McNulty, drunk with his friend Bunk, the black man and the white man, puking into the streets of Baltimore. Um, that has a long and noble literary tradition that comes from Milton, you know, all the way from Milton and the fallen, and the fallen angel uh, of Satan, uh, all the way through Lord Byron, up, up uh, through Edgar Allan Poe, all the way uh, to literary times, and they, they're, um, it's a, it's a character uh, that has evolved in literature, that um, is there, uh, that we've used to explore moral and questions that we fear to answer. They're the, they're the people of the shadows, part of the shadows, <coughs> that come out of the shadows themselves to explore the things that we're frightened of. Murder, mortality, sexual deviancy, um, sex itself. You know, they, they're, they, they're the people that come from the shadows to bring truth to light a lot of the time. So they're the, 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 these storytelling people, they, they're, they're, they're literary devices, right? These characters are literary devices. 